My name is Edlinda Yanis. I am the Department Coordinator for Mexican American Studies. Um, as many of you may or may not know, it is the oldest graduate program of Chicano Studies in the country and one of five in the state of California. Woo! Now I'd like to introduce a member of our planning committee who was very instrumental in making tonight happen. Luis Chago Juarez was born and raised in East Salinas, is a lifelong teatrista and believes in the power of resident storytelling. On campus, students know him as Professor Juarez. However, Luis has been a member of the Moss Department faculty for a number of years. He is better known as the co-founder of Salinas political theater group, Waktun 12. The Building Healthy, Healthy Communities of the California Endowment awarded him several grants to support his work, which has been performed nationwide. We would like to invite him on stage to give a few words about the next part of our program, History and Remezcla. All right, buenas noches, everybody. ¿Cómo estamos? Bien. Okay. This is a this is a grand this is a great honor, a great pleasure. Um, like Edlinda said, I'm a part of a Bactun 12 lifelong teatrista, but my life began with Teatro Campesino, this teatro life. And what we're doing tonight is a bit of a <laughs> flashback. We're gonna go through time and. Um, the folks that are going to help us do that are going to be the Luis Valdez Leadership Academy. If we can have you guys come out here. Um, just going to take a little trip, starting with our most recent to <laughs> as far back as we can go. And um, what we'll see is we're going to see these young people uh, do this uh, presentation in honor of our maestro. After that, we will, we will follow that up with a special presentation by an Humberto Garcia the third who will give us a little background of that'll give us a context for the uh, the history that we're celebrating here tonight and that'll be followed by Miriam Mosqueda who will be reading a selection one selection one actual the full article from El Excentrico written by Luis Chete Valdez, uh, but um, so not not a but but so let's get this show going, everybody. The Luis Valdez Leadership Academy. Armida. Agustina's daughter. Who? Go ahead and be mad at me if you want to, Mama Chu. But we are all here because of you. We just we want you to get well. We, we love you, Grandma. You're in an awfully good mood. Hey, is it my fault they used me in the shot and not you? Speaking party todo. How do you like the way I said, si, senor? Ha, no, senor. Andale, junior. Up yours, buddy. The whole day was a complete waste of time. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Today, with Tina takes on sound soundstage, I got another movie idea. This one's really hot. Oh, no, buddy, please. No more hot ideas. I need a hot bath. Come on. There's a Chicano James Bond type, you see? It's one of those international spy thrillers set in Guadalajara, where an American narcotics agent has been kidnapped, maybe snuffed. So who do they call? Ghostbusters. Joaquin Moreira was killed and beheaded. Three-finger Jack, his companion, is dead. Jack's bloody hand in a Stockton museum. A jar of whiskey holds Murieta's head. The gold rush fever that scorched California brought out the ugliest, worst traits in men. But things were dead at the head of Murieta till Vasquez started over again. Tiburcio Vasquez abandoned notorious, won fame and fortune by robbing the stage, and stole the hearts of all the luckless women who gave him sucker in his escapades. The cur is wantonly wanted, all over for crimes committed with scoundrels and thieves. Tiburcio Vasquez, un hombre mucho malo, is wanted most by the ladies he leaves. 
Tiburcio, you have a visitor. Well, well, well. Samuel P. Gillette, what brings you to San Jose? Show business, sir. The lure of the footlights. Have a chair, partner. Gentlemen, you have five minutes. You may smoke if you wish, but no drinking or profanities allowed. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've turned that pasty-faced sheriff into a genuine Western hero. Almost played him myself. You're looking damn good, Vasquez. How are you? A wedding trial was that a proper defense, Gillette. I need money for lawyers. You're a cause celeb, sir. Catnip to the ladies. You ought to charge them admission. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the play you're about to see is a construct of fact and fantasy. The Pachuco style was an act in life, and his language a new creation. His will to be was an awesome force eluding all documentation. A mythical, quizzical, frightening green precursor of revolution. Or a hideous, hideous, heroic joke deserving of absolution. I speak as an actor on the stage. The Pachuco was existential, for he was an actor in the streets. Both profane and reverential. It was a secret fantasy of every battle, in or out of the Chicanada, to put on a suit suit and play the myth. Más chucote que la chingada. ¡Pues órale! Me voy desbordado raso. Voy a ingresar a las filas con los valientes muchachos. Que dejan madres queridas. Que dejan novias llorando. Llorando, llorando. Su despedida. ¿Ya está la escena, jefa? Sí, hijo, ya merito. Pero, ¿por qué te vistes así? No vas hasta mañana. Pues ya sabe, va a venir Cecilia y todo. Ay, qué mijo. Me traes mil novias, pero nunca te casas. Pues a ver cómo le cae un surprise, mamá. Órale, qué picture de tenderness, ¿no? Pero watch a la jefita. Listen to what she's thinking. Ahora sí, mi hijo es un hombre. Se mira tan simpático en su uniforme. Bueno, jefita, es getting late. Al rato vuelvo con Cecilia, ¿eh? Sí, hijo, vuelve pronto. Dios te cuide, corazón de tu madre. Out in the street, Johnny begins to think about his family, his girl, his barrio, his life. Chihuahua, pobre jefita. Mañana va a ser muy duro para ella. También para mí. It was pretty hard when I went to boot camp, pero ahora a bit, ¿no? We are very pleased to bring you an especially delightful speaker this evening. He is a well-known member of the Mexican-American community, a rapper, and most importantly, a militant. He has kindly consented to come here tonight and tell it like it is. It is with a great pleasure, therefore, that I now introduce this young man who is going to come out here and talk it to us. His name is Benjamin Dejo. Ben Dejo! Let's give him a big hand. Mistake. We only asked for one. Which one of you is Bendejo? I see. Okay, we'll sit down while we sell this. Will the real militant Bendejo please rise? Mok, Mok, Ramirez! Yes, teacher. How do you pronounce your name? Moctezuma. What? Moctezuma. Oh, what a funny name! <laughs> and what does it mean? He was an emperor in the times of the Indians. He was a Mexican like me. Oh, you mean Montezuma. No, Moctezuma. Montezuma. Moctezuma. Montezuma. Moctezuma. Montezuma. From the halls of Montezuma to the shore of Tripoli. Now, what's your name, boy? Monty. In the Aztec year of Seacot, which was called 1519 by the Gabachos and the Cachupines, there was a great city in the Valley of Mexico, which was called the Nochitlan. The chief of this great civilization was a noble prince, a religious warrior called Moctezuma Chocoyotzin El Segundo. El primero fue el jefe de mi jefito, mi abuelito. His warriors had almost conquered the entire world. Many tribes and many cities lived in fear of Moctezuma. Only the Mayas of Yucatan had yet to be conquered by Tenochtitlan. Me faltan los Mayas, pero mulas más peores me he echado. Sempoala, Tlaxcala, and Cholula were among the tribes that paid tribute to Mexico. Ahora, indios raros, a pagar. La renta se ha dicho. All these tribes had all been conquered by the Aztecs. So instead of fighting Moctezuma, they fought each other. Se la pasaban a rada del moco. Cállense. Que no miran que tengo un minor kerek. Ahora, Sempoala. Si, mi rey. Que me traes. Te traigo chocolate, cacahuate, si les gusta, ya se están de Ay, qué bueno. Pásale, pásale. Cholula. 
Sí, mire. ¿Qué me traes? Cobijas, plumas finas y oro, mire. ¿Y no es un Westinghouse Electric Blanket? No, mire. Bueno, pues, pásale, pásale. La escala. Sí, mi majestad. ¿Qué me traes? Chiles y frijoles. Oh, y un esclavo, ¿verdad? No, señor, es mi hijo. Bueno, pues, sígale, sígale. ¿Quieres más, pediche? ¿Qué, qué? ¿A qué soy son aboviche, señor? Ese, ese insulto me lo vas a pagar. Y ahora, quiero un sacrificio. Bueno, bueno, mis moros. Vamos a ver a quién vendemos el día de hoy, ¿no? ¿Qué huele? I'm on and this is my shop. Antes fui contratista, pero ahora logro tener mi negocito. All I need now is a customer. Ding! Hey, a customer! Good morning, I'm Miss Jimenez. Ah, oh, una chicana. Welcome, welcome, señorita Jimenez. Jimenez. ¿Qué? My name is Miss Jimenez. Don't you speak English? What is wrong with you? Oh, nothing, señorita Jimenez. I am here to help you. That's better. As I was starting to say, I'm a secretary from Governor Reagan's office, and we're looking for a Mexican type for the administration. Well, you come to the right place, lady. This is Honest Sancho's Used Mexican. You can find all types here. Any particular type you're looking for? Yes, we're looking for somebody suave. Suave? De bonaire. De buen aire. Dark. Prieto? But of course, not too dark. No muy prieto. Perhaps <laughs> beige? Beige, just the tone. Así como cafecito con leche, ¿no? One more thing. He must be hardworking. That could, that could only be one model. Step right over here. Introducing our standard farm worker model. Like in the words of our beloved Senator George Murphy, he is built close to the ground. Also take a special notice that his four-pike Goodyear Guarache is made from the rain tires. His wide brim sombrero protects him from sun, dust, and rain. Yes, it looks terrible. And our farm worker model is friendly. Muy amable, watch. Buenos dias, señorita. My, he's friendly. Did I tell you? He loves his patrones. But his most attractive feature is that he's hard working. Buenos dias. This, this is the ranch of my patroncito. And I come here to bring grapevines. My patron bring me all the way from Mexico. Here to California. The land of sun and money. More sun than money. But I better get to Jalad now. Because my patroncito, he don't like to see me talking to strangers. Hi, here he comes in his big car. I better get to work. Good morning, boy. You working hard, boy? Oh, sí, patrón, muy hard. Oh, you can work harder than that, boy. Harder, harder, harder. Ah! Ay, mamá, he ate all the beans and then he tried to bite me. Por Dios, the poor man. The poor man, he's a pig. Look at the hole he made. All right, pues, I see it. And he gave me pio holes. No matter, go bring more tortillas. Wait a minute, wait a minute. For the last time, who's in there? Your older brother, hijo de Belarmino. Brother? I don't remember no older brother. What's wrong with him? How come he shouts? Ay, pues está loco el baboso. He's sick. But you should know you used to play with him when you was little. Ma, don't lie to me. Are we so poor we gotta take in braceros? Or maybe it's a wetback you're hiding. Or maybe he's suffering from shell shock. I ain't suffering from nothing, man. Take it easy, carnal. Well, Ma, is Who's that guy a, a wetback? No, he's your brother. Brother, huh? We'll soon find out. Ah! Ah, he ain't got a body. He's, he's just, just a head. head.